1200 for hair was it worth it heck yeah Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tammy Bloom where I'm all about hair, beauty, culture and lifestyle. So today I'm just going to show you how I get this beautiful bomb passion twist for 1200 only which I definitely saved up. Some of your ladies like hair for 1200 Guys, you go to the salon and do this all the time. Use way more than that. So let me just show you how you're going to spend only that plus i have my face on guys i have my face on why because most of the time i'm just gonna be <laughs> like this you know during this corona season keep safe wear your mask always sanitize always and since my face is gonna be hidden i gotta wear my face so you gotta see my face if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on, click the subscribe button down there, please. Please click it, click it. And let's just get into the video of how I get this passion twist. Not looking crazy as I leave. Bless you know. <laughs> you can't apply this because it's just gonna miss your mask. But let me show you how I get this passion twist easily. So first things first, get you two mirrors. This is for parting the hair. Get you two mirrors. I have two big cameras right here with me. You can also just get a large mirror and a small mirror for parting or basically just ask someone to do it for you. It's no shame that you can't part your hair because it's really hard. But guys, I'm gonna show you throughout the video what you can do to easily do this hairstyle so watch the whole video and guys let me tell you i'm giving you tips that nobody has given you in this passion twisting life especially for beginners these tips will help you out and you will be able to do this hairstyle properly so with your mirror with everything else i'm gonna show you let's get into it so just like comment subscribe and let's get into it I need a red tail comb, my leave-in conditioner to just ensure my hair is moisturized underneath, the molding gel wax, this is just to tuck in my hair to the rest of the hair, and uh, the water wave curls, I use three packs of so this, three packs, and then my Eco Styler gel, which is for adding onto the hair for it to go back to its normal state. I look a little bit crazy but yeah um so yesterday night because i had time i decided to cut my hair into sections so just get your two mirrors big one a big one and a small one so that you can basically see what you're patting if not just get a relative or somebody to just help you do your hair as in somebody who's close by to help you part do the partings but I basically just sat in front of a mirror and put my hair and then I because I did them at night I knew my hair wouldn't be stretched out in the morning so I basically just you know pleated them together and now I've unraveled them so when you get the hair straight from the packet it comes with bundles like this which they're Two bundles per pack i think each of them comprising of 15 because i've patted my hair according to the 15 so i said i just basically take three packs of them so and i used two on each you basically just take your one strand and unravel it and it have to be perfect it's just to add volume because the hair comes really thin so 
um, this the separated side and this the unraveled side and it just comes so it's just to add a bit more of volume if you want them thicker use more packs and more but i'm using three packs and i'm using two of these strands together so let me just do the second one on camera yeah so when there are two of them they be looking like this they be looking like I have basically fluffed out the hair and I'm just going to be picking two of them as I said before. First thing to do is basically get the leave-in. The leave-in is like almost over so let's take a small amount. I have thin, pine, 4C short hair. So this is like literally for four sections of my hair. So let me choose the first parts that I'm going to put it in good basically applied the leave-in to this first four parts of my hair but anyways I'm taking the molding gel because we don't have what I saw as beeswax I don't know there's some gels like I have been wanting but we don't have them here so I just basically go with something that has literally the same ingredients just maybe a slight variation and it is cheap and affordable lined up so this is for this together the same so basically take the hair in your part cutting of the hair put the braid put the braiding hair on top of your hair and basically just braid it When I get to this part, I just simply take more of a molding gel and just rub it on my own hair. Take the hair to one side of the hair and just twist it. I take my hand from this is my right to the left. is not going anywhere so this video is just easy for those people who like have never done their hair before i'm trying to take you like slowly step by step because i know for sure you've been able to do a machuta stroke braid on your own hair so it's not going to be that difficult and basically you take your hand from right to left right to left right to left Basically, I'm showing you the center hair. This place is always usually a problem area to get to also and to do. So I'm just showing you how I do this centered area. Guys, be gentle with your hair. Don't pluck it out. Now, for the center hair, from here to down here, 
what I basically do is put the hair on top like this ensure that you have it directly onto the scalp and you just begin to braid the same way you did before and then now come and just stick it to the front and I say right to the left so. so again at the end I'm just showing you because basically I'll either have the hair lying down like this or like this or like this or high you know basically also be strategic when you're doing your hair so here basically as you can see I'm putting this hair like this because it's going to be lying down this way mm, most of the time when it's out so basically take the top part being there and then just do the same thing Great. just realized that I didn't show you how the end is done so basically remember right to left this is how we were going along on the bridge yep, so that is how the ends are looking like yep so as i said that's how i'm basically going to be putting my hair most of the time when i'm not going anywhere and you can see guys you can see it's busy and then ah yeah it's done So there we have it. I got my sexy passion twist on my hair, which I'm gonna keep for like a while. So it's not an excuse for you to get out looking shaggy just because you're wearing masks. Come on, take some time and have some effort to just do this hairstyle at home. Don't be lazy. Like, comment, subscribe down below, and see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't, what? Watch, watch, come on, join the family.